Hi everybody, this is Sarah from Sarah's Emporium here to do our weekly reading for sep oh geez, September, no. <laughs> May 17th to the 23rd. Um happy May to everybody. Not September. We're not there yet. <laughs> like to savor the summer. Um, we're using the uh, Prisma Visions Tarot today and the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And just to remind everybody, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. It's for the general, for the general public. Decided to do a little bit of uh, bowl cleansing at the beginning of this. Um, sound cleansing is a really good form of r removing energy and bringing in energy. Alright, what's going on this week for the collective? I say that everything jumps out. All right. Oh, look at you, sneaky. That's actually kind of interesting. All right, so we're actually making the panorama this week. We have a lot of headspace we're in and a lot of grounding with the pentacles okay i would i would zoom in this time but there's you know there's actually a lot going on well maybe i can squeeze in a little okay all right so we've got the seven of swords the eight of swords and then the ace of pentacles and the two of pentacles so we got a lot of like air energy going on and earth energy going on it sounds like it seems like it sounds like it seems like we have a lot of mischievousness going on and we're getting stuck in our head we're in our head space a lot and what we need see how there's a difference between the the starkness the whiteness the you know the cold and we're going into warmth you know the door is opening so it's new um opportunities and it looks like we need to be balancing out what's going on so that we need to get out of this space here you can see this guy is being mischievous you know it's kind of like mm, i'm gonna i'm gonna grab these guys these these swords here and uh, i'm just gonna carry on yeah and, um, and then in here, this person is trapped, quote unquote, in their own headspace, their own woes. And I like that we're going into this opportunity, a doorway of new opportunities. It's not really an emotional journey. We're not looking at any water sources we are just looking at the fact that we're in our own headspace and we need to be moving on to that new opportunity um yeah this is a great reward is available as long as you take that opportunity don't overthink the situation i think i say this a million and one times but it's true you know, when you when you start to overthink stuff and you're like, oh, no, it's not going to happen. I things are getting a little bit rougher and, you know, I don't know if I can do it. And, you know, the bills are stacking up and, you know, it's just it's just all against me. And I just feel like I'm in a repetitious. I feel like there's people that are working against me. Um you you got to move past that. You got to get out of your head about the situation and and as soon as you get yourself out of out of your own way, 
the opportunities will be there. Now there's going to be more than one opportunity. It's going to be, there's going to be multiple opportunities available to you, but you have to learn to balance whatever you decide to do. You, it's going to be a balancing act. You're going to be needing to figure out how to make it work. You know, it's not going to just come to you and everything's going to be wonderful. It's going to take some time to figure out how to make it work. There, there might be a bit of a routine, which is great, especially with a grounding scenario. You want that routine. You just need to figure out how that's going to work for you. The opportunity is there and it is available. You have to figure out how that's going to work for you, though, because it's not just going to fall in as a puzzle piece in your life and work out on its own you have to make it work okay and yeah yeah that's really it guys so again get out of your head space stop thinking that people are against you you know you are your own worst enemy when it comes to that you went overthinking creates a lot of fear and negative energies Know that that opportunity is there. Once you get out of your headspace, you're going to see it and it's waiting for you. And then you're going to have to figure out how to balance it out and how to make it work for you. It's going to be a great opportunity. I love when doors open and new situations come about um, because it it's exciting. It's something new. It's adventurous. It's... it's um, you know, it's unknown, you know, I love unknowns. All right. And then for our shaman, mystical shaman card, we have the vision quest. You can see this person is dancing and there's a lot of um, movement going on with this card, which is great, especially if you're moving on from, from your own head space. All right, so the medicine with this spirit has been trying to contact you but received no answer. You are too busy with your life and there is too much noise inside your head. Hmm. Do not miss the call again. Make room for quiet time this evening and allow yourself to become, become bored for a little while. You'll be able to hear the important message trying to get through. That's awesome. This this week, I'm very happy with everything. <laughs> Everything's working out really, really well. That's exactly it. Get out of your own head. Make yourself bored for a little while. You know, that's... I actually was thinking about this um, a couple days ago, about the fact of, like, what would we do? You know, I was thinking back in, in my youth and how I used to write a lot. I used to write a lot of poetry, especially when I was in an emotional state. I would write it out. I'm like, what do we do now to get those feelings out? I don't don't really write as often as I used to. And I find that we get attached to our electronics to keep our minds going a lot. Like, you know, phones and, you know, watching TV and whatever, Netflix, stuff like that. You know, take that moment to just be stare into space for a little while. Look out the window and just, you know, look at the road, the leaf, the, you know, find a bug and stare at it and just create a sense of boredom. And that actually will help with the, with the creativity. I, um, I have, I have done this before and I did a little like scenario with a, a paper wasp that was making a nest in our, um, wrought iron, um, hand, uh, railing and, you know, it was, it was kooky. It was fun. It was, um, it was not boring, but I wasn't attached to any of my electronics. I was, I was just using my creativity power and, you know, and I really do believe that once you get away from constantly having to go, 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 you will be opened up to what is, what is available and what's going on that you, that source is trying to tell you, um, yeah, in the invitation, 
Find clarity by spending time alone in nature. If you live in the city, go for a walk in the park. If you live in the country, make sure you spend time outside and contemplation. Get off the couch, get away from your desk, go outside. Spirit helps those who help themselves, so set your intention and ask nature for a guiding vision for your life. And that's exactly what I was just saying. Like, you know, get away from the TV, get away from the, you know, the have to do things all the time and just take a moment, you know, sit by the water, sit, you know, on your stoop, look for the bug, you know, and create not even create, just don't create, just sit there and do nothing and just, you know, observe. And, you know, aha moments come when we least expect it. So I'm going to give you a nice little close up of this picture. We have the moon crescent there. We have a heart. It looks like she has wings. And, you know, she's she is in the moment of creating and being And that's really cool. So as a takeaway, get out of your head, you know, stare into space, go be bored for a little while, and your aha moments will come come to you, and you will find that new opportunity. And once you get to know that opportunity, know that it's not just going to be an easy, easy um, puzzle piece fitting in with your life. You're going to have to figure out how to balance that all out, Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading this week. Um, it actually is very cohesive, I find. If you like the singing bowl, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like the singing bowl, let me know in the comments below. But, you know, don't give me a thumbs down because I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, so I, I appreciate the little bit of feedback there. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you all next week. Bye.